Hi friends, it's been quite some time I have posted my last article, I couldn't find time so today I am going to see, I mean, work on something and show a little bit about uh, SSIS. So what we are looking at today is uh, an excel sheet uh, having an ID and name columns and data so what we are trying we will be trying to do is uh, pull this data into our database and uh, with the help of SSIS and uh, then we'll try uh, to see how we can do this dynamically by which I mean the path of uh, where the SSIS I mean where the Excel sheet uh, will be kept and the table name will be uh, a dynamic one let's see uh, how we do this uh, so let's just switch to my virtual machine before we start working so this the Excel I have copied it on my uh, a folder and uh, it's here and uh, so initially what we do is uh, we create two tables EMP A and EMP B uh, under this test DB and uh, with the same uh, definition uh, let's try to create this table so next let's start our business intelligence development studio to start creating the package so so what I do is create a new project and select the SSIS integration services project and uh, put the name as say export excel or rather import I'm sorry import excel and we say ok so this will create a solution for uh, this project that we are trying to work on that is import excel let's right so that's there before we start we are uh, I just want to remind that we are working on a dot xls and not excel xsx file which means uh, on the 2000 not the latest version of Microsoft Office next is since it is an import excel project so what I would do first is in the debugging you just deselect I mean select the false for 64 bit we'll try to work on because of the connection adapter used in uh, the excel import uh, doesn't support for 64 bit so next we'll start working on our package now first is we'll create a sequence container so we we'll drag and drop and next uh, we name it uh, import excel same and we have a data flow task for dumping the data right I declare two variables uh, excel path one variable which is of string type and its value let me just put it for now initialize with where in the place where we have dumped our excel we are trying to pull next is the table name another variable with I again put it to string and I initialize it to emp underscore a I'm done next uh, we'll try to initialize our yeah just a point before we try to initialize uh, I would like to point out let's go to the property of the data flow task and since we want to make this package dynamic 
we will say delay validation that is the pre validation check will not happen because our values will be populated at the run time the package path and the table name next is we bring the excel source for the df dft task again remember in the properties for data flow task you have to delay the val validation check here you and mostly for for dft tasks you will have the validate external metadata option so remember to make it false and next we'll start configuring so let's uh, select a new connection for we browse to the path of our excel and we say ok and uh, we pull the data from excel sheet it will uh, we say sheet 1 we can take a preview yeah the data is quite good next we move to columns we see the column mappings external and external internal and external is fine next our source is perfectly validated and developed remember uh, we are trying to make this uh, thing dynamic one by which I mean click on the connection manager excel source and next say expressions and select the property for our excel path and next is we will select the variable that means we are going to pop pull the value from this variable and that will that is going to happen dynamically we'll come to that later so this is again done next we come to the destination so destination drag drop the destination and connect it to the source next is remember to again delay the validation so we have to make the validate external metadata as false and that's okay that's done next we start configuring our OLDB so we need a connection for this so I select my test DB connection and say okay next is I'm trying to pull the table uh, table name from the variable so I select the variable and say my table name and uh, I can preview it's okay next is we say the mapping so the ID and the name are mapped and we ignore the value uh, since there is no input for our department we ignore that that's all we are perfectly fine and done so we are done with our package we save it and we run this package it should be pulling data in EMP A A table right so let's go on the SQL server and try and validate the data right the data has been populated the default value of, of department is IT as in the definition of the table so that's right that's okay that's fine now the next step is to create this dynamic thing so what we do is we use the option of package configurations we enable this package configuration and add an XML we browse and we say Excel package config right and we save it next and say next so what are the values we are trying to uh, make dynamic let's suppose we have two variables we are trying to make them dynamic so we are making the value of this excel path variable as dynamic one and also the table name as a dynamic one so and say next and that is our configuration and we are done that's done now we will be having let's uh, get the source of this 
where we have this this solution uh, we will go to the path maybe and we will be having an additional file dts conf with the name dts config so what we will just open this in internet internet explorer i just want to show the values how do we configure them at the runtime i mean yeah so we are having values for these two properties that is uh, that is the excel path variable and the table name variable we uh, which are now set to employee underscore a and the path as a for under oa folder so that's right that's okay that's perfectly fine next what we do is we open this file with notepad and we say the value to b and the employee table as also b and then we save it so it will pull the data from we'll have to put this file under b as well right we have that we don't have let's delete this file we don't have any file at a now right we are done so we have saved that and now let's run the package before running i just want to check right there is no let me truncate table emp underscore a as well and then we don't have value in any of the tables now let's rerun the package it should be picking the values from the config right now let's try and find out what are the values and what table right so we got the values in emp, EMP underscore b table so that's how we can populate this data dynamically now the next step is to deploy this package so i go to properties in the deployment utility i have to create so you say create deployment utility as true and then click apply and then okay and you again build the package that has succeeded so now once we go under bin you will have a deployment folder this will be having three files the deployment manifest file the import excel config file and the package so we want to deploy this package now let's if we have if we want to deploy this package we can do it simply by using the manifest file this will allow us to create the deployment this is the deployment utility of ssis so double click the manifest and it will ask you the op option to uh, deploy the package on the file system way or also on the msdb database or for the server you want to deploy it on so let's see right let's say yes and this will this will start deploying yeah this is the installation window we say yes we go ahead with the file system deployment right we can browse to the path we want uh, this package to be kept so i say i have my path on the ssis folder i usually deploy so i select this and say okay and go next it will start the installation here yeah, before installation just remember to uh, edit the file i mean config or just check the values initialize now we say okay that's fine and we say yes finish once this is done 
let's see what do we find at the folder where we have deployed in the SSIS folder we'll find two files the config and the package right so before run, you can create a SQL job for running this uh, running this package and uh, if each time before you run you can actually configure your config file dynamically and the value that you uh, I mean feed in in the config file will be used by the package to run so your package will be a dynamic one so that was what I was just trying to uh, show in here I hope it was uh, useful for the users to uh, I mean get uh, how the de deployment is done and how we can pull the SSIS uh, I mean the configuration and stuff like that also remember what we had done with the 64 bit option as without which the config uh, the connection for us uh, Excel sheet will not be working so that was it for today thanks guys